So Josh is running in to get Chipotle and I can't have Chipotle. So I'm on a low day. So I have just a few things that I wanted to kind of just tell you guys about in terms of dieting, meal plan, nutrition plan, whatever you want to call it. Ways to make it easy, ways to make it delicious, and ways to make you literally not dread your food, but actually enjoy it and look forward to eating the food that you get on your meal plan. And before I start, I just want to say, if you need help with macros, Josh and I are fitness nutrition certified, and we would love to help you if you are um, in the market for that. You can check out our meal plans on bomerfitness.com. Um, our meal plan will teach you the macros that you need to hit your goal. It will also include videos on how to meal prep, how to track your calories, how to eat out at restaurants, how to avoid hitting calories. All of that are just is a full comprehensive system. So if you need help starting from square one, we would absolutely love to help you. But um, the first few, notes that I have because as I said I'm on a low day and I like to plan in advance I don't like to just wake up and say okay I have this many calories what am I gonna eat today I like to the night or the day before plan my food because I like to do three low days in a row so if I know okay today in my low days I'm going to eat avocados I will go to the store and just get however many avocados I'm gonna eat over those three days if I need something from the store that way when I go to the store I am not wasting time I'm not wasting money and I'm getting exactly what I need because I think a lot of people they start a new meal plan in which they get to pick their own foods which is what macro dieting teaches you our meal plans do come with the sample meal plan but it also teaches you how to write your own if you want and I just think a lot of people don't plan ahead and then they get stressed out because they don't have a plan. You need, you need, you need, you need a plan. So I like to plan in advance, like I said, the night or the day before, that way I have time to get the, the supplies, the food that I need. Sorry, I just have my notes. So you wanna plan in advance. I personally will eat the same foods on my high and my low days. It just makes grocery shopping a lot easier. It makes meal prepping a lot easier. It makes life a lot easier. And I pick foods that I know I'm going to enjoy regardless so I actually look forward to the foods and the meal plan that I get to eat and like I said it saves money it saves time and it just makes my life a lot easier there's a lot of um, you know if you if you are doing low day for the first time a low calorie diet for the first or low carb diet for the first time check Pinterest just look on Pinterest for low carb ideas um, inclusive in our meal plan and I've also posted on YouTube before I teach you guys how to track your macros in recipes so there's literally no excuse to not enjoy and create recipes, especially if you have a family or children or husband who's not necessarily on board or wife who's not necessarily on board. That way you can still cook for them, eat with them, whatever the case may be, and you still know how many calories you're getting in your foods. You cannot have excuses with this stuff because there are so many resources and just so many helpful things out there. Not only, you know, not necessarily do you have to pay for, but just for free. Check Pinterest, things like that. So. Um, a few other tips on low days. Um, when you do go to the gym on low carb days, your muscles might seem a lot smaller. It's just because your glycogen levels are empty or becoming empty. So don't get discouraged if on your low days you do seem a lot thinner. So I hope that helps. Um, check out the my full first day eating. meal for my low carb day. I'm doing five liquid pasteurized egg whites. And I know it sounds gross, but if you add sugar free like coffee syrup to it. It's actually pretty delicious. One tablespoon of these organic chia seeds and then two tablespoons of this peanut butter. One chia seeds. So we're running errands all day. We're actually at our archery pro shop right now. So my next meal is going to be a serving of these almonds. So you can see the macros right there. And then some BCAA gummies. All right, so next meal is just a protein shake, vanilla, and then we are off to the gym. Okay, so my next meal is going to be an avocado, a thing of tuna, and then some sweet pickles. So this is like a healthy version of tuna salad. Where's the batteries? I don't know. 
Come here, Tom. Okay, sit pretty. Oh, you're so smart. There you go. Tom. Hey, sweetie. You want some tuna? There you go. Right, so we're just gonna add some sweet pickles. All right, my last meal of the day is gonna be two whole eggs and then five ounces of some venison steak. And I really like whipping the eggs, it makes them a lot fluffier. I'm just gonna do a scramble. 